drop a pont in Agi. We're gonna break this off into two sections and then we're gonna piece it all together, okay? We're gonna talk about the entry and then we're gonna talk about the finish and then we'll blend it all together. So for the entry, can we just step up to the line and then spread your legs? For the entry, it is important to put your heel at the top of that triangle, just like we have been doing this whole time. And then I'm gonna point my toe at his toes, okay? In that line, and then my knee drives forward, and then I pivot through that position, okay? I wanna attack the inside portion of his knee with my rib cage to make sure he gets onto my back. So when we're in this position, heel to toe, and then this leg whips, through that one so that this hits and you're leaning against that leg and your butt is behind his legs, okay? So when you enter into this throw, you actually wanna be leaning backwards so that this leg gets a good sweeping action into that position so that your butt is through and now you can push against that leg there and then you can drive up and finish the technique. It's important to make sure you lean and open up that leg to get a good lift and a good drive. So we're here, in, top, down. As I'm going down, I'm gonna lean back, opening up this whole side, sweeping through that position, and then pressing that knee, opening, 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 and finishing that throw from this angle. Okay, in that center position, leaning back and opening through the hole, okay? And it's an important part just to be able to understand and do that motion, right? You're not putting the hand on the floor. Down, through that gap so that I can press that knee. And you can see I'm already starting to knock him off balance because I'm using my body to drive up and finish that technique, okay? Now, the end portion of the throw is the other thing we have to talk about, okay? Let's assume that I'm down there, okay? We're just gonna practice from here, and we're just gonna start down here. Go ahead and bend over for me, there. Where I get him to bend over, and I'm gonna press my legs, I'm gonna turn this up, and I get to here. I want to drive with my legs over the top, and then land in a good position, okay? <clears throat> it's important that my shoulders drive him over and I push until I can get over the top of him, okay? So again, we're down. I'm here, I'm just gonna hold on to this collar. I'm gonna press my ribs against his legs, up and over the top. What I wanna try to avoid is falling short or pushing backwards, okay? What that's gonna look like here is I'm here and I drive and I, and I fall back where my head is set. I'm not pushing with my legs anymore. And what tends to happen when you're here, face me, face me, switch your belly to the mat, is you, belly to the mat, is you end up like this, where he's able to pull that arm out and you're driving through, okay? We're gonna do this slow. So now that I'm here, right, when I go to throw him over, he's gonna hit his shoulder, but then he's gonna go belly down. So here, boom. No, don't hit your back, come back. Don't hit your back. We're here, I drop, boom, and this happens, right? Because I'm not driving. Had I been driving, even when he's here, I can take these legs and I can push him. Boom. And now I can throw him three pumps. Okay? So it's just there in case you end up short on the entry, right? If I end up a little short, like out here, when I go to drive, rather than rolling here where he can turn in and only score with art, I want to make sure I drive with those legs and come over the top. Now, to piece it all together. Okay, from the top, remember, 
The hand placement's gonna be the same. I'm gonna go down, and then I'm gonna go back. I'm not gonna go down and up. I'm gonna go down and then back, so that he's leaning forward, okay? Let's just change to this angle, actually. When we're in this position. I'm gonna go down and then back, so that he has to go over the top of me, okay? I wanna lean back as much as possible. Spread the legs. Down, back. Knee forward. And over the top. It feels, it feels very awkward at first, okay? But when you get comfortable throwing yourself back and rotating, you'll realize how far over the top of you he is. We're here. Down. Back. Okay? So he has to come forward. Down. Back. You can see how far I am through that position. Okay? Down. And over the top. Okay. So that's basically going to be a very basic standard drop iponse nagi for competition and training purposes.